Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris from winflectorexpert.com and in this video I am going to show you how to configure Vinflector server to start automatically after the computer turns on. This is actually one of the most commonly asked questions regarding Winflector configuration. People want to know how to put Winflector in a Windows service mode, how to put it into auto start, etc. First of all, you'll want to have a dedicated account setup for the Winflector server to run on. Unfortunately, it requires administrative privileges, so give it a strong password and preferably restrict remote logon. It doesn't mean all applications running through Winflector will have administrative access, but the server will. Well, I have an account set up here, it's called the Winflector server. So set up yours, log on to it. And from here, it's very simple. So let's bring up the Winflector server if it's not running. Sometimes you may need to find it in the tray, so you'll just go and restore the window. Um, go to Preferences, go to Options, and this is the option you're looking for. Enable automatic Winflector start after a reboot. Click it. Uh, the username and domain are already filled in, so you just enter the password. And make sure this checkbox is checked. Log workstation after automatic login. So let's enable it. Okay. Okay. Disconnect from the server. And it's configured now. That's all you need to do. I'll just show you how it works. So I'll stop the server. Exit it and reboot the machine. Let's look closely now. So what has just happened? The computer logged on to the Winflector server account, launched the Winflector server and logged the session. This way, you have your Winflector running and your computer secure. One thing to remember is that if you log in to the Winflector server account and then want to stop using the session, you have to use log or switch user options, not the log of one. That's it. If you liked this video, please check out winflectorexpert.com and see you soon.